Hey guys, what's going on? It's Celeste. I just wanted to make a quick video really quickly um, and kind of tell you about something I'm trying to incorporate into my daily routine and just see how it benefits my body, my mood, and everything like that. So in case maybe this is something you want to try, I figured I might try and document the process a little bit. So I've fasted before just for 12 hours. It's pretty easy to do. You know, you think you go to bed, say 10 o'clock, you wake up, you skip breakfast, maybe go work out or go to work and you just don't eat until, you know, later in the morning or like, you know, an early lunch. Well, today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm actually um, trying like a 16 hour fast. So this is something I'm actually doing intentionally and I want to, I've heard about the, you know, actually weight loss, fat burning um, benefits just really quickly. I'm not going to get into all of it, but you know, it has benefits to reset the healthy bacteria in your gut and also mental clarity. So that's something I really struggle with a lot. I feel foggy often and um, like I'll eat breakfast or whatever. I feel like I'm crashing. I just feel like I can't focus. Like I can never wake up. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to document. This is the first day I've actually intentionally tried 16 hour fast. You know, 12 hours is really easy to do. It's a great starting point, but I wanted to push it just a little bit farther. But this morning I had the biggest like, uh, I guess you'd say hiccup. I didn't know what to order at Starbucks. So you could say, why not just make your coffee at home? I know I actually have an espresso machine. I'm still learning how to use it. And I just want to be able to do, you know, go through Starbucks really quickly. I have a limited amount of time, you know, to get to the gym and everything. So without like rambling on about that, I literally was trying to research what I could get on an intermittent fast as far as like a Starbucks drink. Um, a lot, there's like a lot of conflicting, um, information on the internet from what I, you know, read and what I've researched, it's okay to have like a little bit of stevia, but as far as like almond milk, half and half, a cream, um, what else like milk, all those kind of things, if you put that in your coffee, that's going to break your fast. Okay. So I didn't want to have like 200, 300 calories from heavy whipping cream in my coffee this morning. Obviously that would be fine if I was doing like just like keto or something, but I didn't want to break my fast. So after doing like a bunch of research, watching a bunch of videos for like an hour, I'm not even joking with you. Like I was this close to ordering egg bites and just saying, screw it. I'll just do a 12 hour fast, but I really, really wanted to go for 16 hours. So this is what I came up with, and the girl at the Starbucks counter was, like, super nice about it. Counter, whatever, drive through um, I said, hey, I want to get a latte, but I don't want the milk in it. <laughs> I'm just going to get stevia in it. I was like, what are my options? She's like, um, well, you know, because the latte is the milk. That's what makes it. So I was like, I just want the espresso, but I don't want it to be too strong. And she's like, yeah, if you just get a shot of espresso, it's going to be full strength, super strong. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. So she's like, why don't you get an Americano? So some of you may already know this. I've never had an Americano before, but Americano is just water, like hot water mixed with espresso. Normally, um, if you get a grande, it would be two shots of espresso. I want to have another coffee later on in the day. So I just got a single shot and added two um, stevia to it. So I don't have any artificial sweetener in here and there's no cream. It's literally just hot water and um, espresso. So maybe if you're trying to do intermittent fasting and looking for a drink, you could try this. Honestly, it's not even bad. The stevia makes it like a sweet treat. I used to drink black coffee a long time ago, so this isn't that bad, but I don't drink coffee anymore. I only drink espresso. That's like a whole nother um, subject and video. But I was just so excited and honestly, I feel like I got the energy from it a lot faster because I'm in a fasted state. I just did an hour at the gym of cardio, like fasted cardio, and honestly, I have more energy right now than I did like eating a full breakfast and drinking like a coffee or anything like that. So I don't know if it's just because I've had the caffeine on an empty stomach, because right now I like I had my last meal last night. I had dinner like about 9.30, it was like super late and I have not had anything to eat since then. So I'm at first I was just gonna get do 10 to 10, which would be 12 hours, but I'm gonna go till two because I'm almost there. And I just feel like I had so much energy at the gym, like walking, I honestly could have kept going past an hour, but I have to go pick up my daughter. So I actually have to, um, in this, make this really short, but I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I'm trying intermittent fasting. I already feel like I'm like so much more energy today, like so much more energy. And this drink is awesome, but I would maybe get it iced next time is the only thing. It was cold this morning, but now it's like 66 degrees is what my car says. And I'm hot from that cardio, but I feel great. Like, I just wanted to like try this. And so far, this is just like a little update of the first day. And I feel great. I have more energy. I don't feel sluggish at all right now. Like, honestly, if I didn't have to go get my daughter, I could keep on like, you know, with a full workout and lift and everything. So I don't know if you guys like want any more um, info on what I'm doing, just let me know and I'll be happy. I think I'm just going to make a video this whole week of how I feel with it. So if 
you know, anybody has any questions or anything, leave them down below. And I don't know, I'm still learning. I'm very new to it. But like I said, I've done fasting in the past, just not like a full 16 hours intentionally. Um, and I'm excited to try more Starbucks drinks. Like I, it was so fun to get to have this and still get to have Starbucks. I know I wasn't breaking my fast. So but to my understanding, a little bit of stevia is okay. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to fast until two o'clock and then I'll have my first meal. And then I'm, I'm not sure if I'll document that, but I'm definitely going to document tomorrow how I feel. And I'm excited. My eating window today is between um, 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. Um, that is like a little bit, this was like kind of on a whim. I didn't prepare that good. So I actually might back it up till like, do like um, stop eating at eight o'clock so I can go to sleep earlier, but we'll just see how it is. Cause I want to be able to like go to lunch with, you know, my mom or something like that and not have to worry about breaking my fast. Cause I really want to try this 16 hour window and, or 16, eight, however you say that I'm new. So you don't, don't judge me, <laughs> but um, I've been doing a lot of research and I feel fantastic. So in case this is something you wanted to try, maybe we could do it together. Or maybe you just want like um, a drink you could get at Starbucks and you can get an Americano with just plain or you could add some stevia um and i think next time i'm going to try an iced americano so this was just a little quick update of what i'm doing i hope everybody has a great day and i'll catch you in the next one bye